Hey everyone, welcome to Buick Outdoors. If you're new around here, my name is Sheldon Marion, and we just got to hunting camp here. We're gonna be here for the next couple of weeks, and we got everything all set up. Trucks fired up, dogs loaded in, and we're gonna head out hunting. Uh, what we're gonna see first, I don't know. Uh, right now, we have a bear tag, white tail tag, an elk tag, and in just a few days, my moose tag opens up because I'm on a draw out here. But anyways, we're going to hit the road running here. We're going to go see if we can find something to shoot. out chicken hunting there's a bear that came out on the road and uh, now he's in the ditch just right in here behind the camera You know, he's just a little too far. He flew away, but I can see him in this tree right here. <laughs> I flicked off the safety and away he went. Big bear poop. It's always good. Lots of bears. We got ourselves another chicken. That's not the right gun. This is the right gun. There we go. Got that one. Nice headshot, perfect. Yeah, the old CZ, first kill. Nice rough grouse. Don't want to show too much of it, but pretty well shot him right in the eye. So the gun's still shooting straight. And now we're going to have ourselves, I don't know if we'll call it supper, but maybe a chicken omelet tomorrow. <laughs> there we go, chicken. Man, these chickens, kind of hard to see in that shade right there we'll see if I can get them at least grab the right gun this time Some spruce hens they got a small head 
But I got him. No friends. Oh yeah. Lights out for him. Whoop. Hey, good that. Oh, another just perfect headshot. I can't show that stuff on YouTube no more. I guess it's too bloody and such, but it's hunting, man, you know? What? There we go. Got a spruce hen. Got a rough grouse. It's off to a good day. There we go. Wing! <laughs> Almost ran over some chickens here. Let's see here. Magazine. Gun. I might even bring bullets with me on this one. There's three or four of them sitting there. So we'll see how many I can get. Well, they're pretty skittish. Ah, he's pretty young. We got small ones. We have a little squirrel right here. He doesn't seem to be worried one little bit. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. What's up, dude? What's up, little buddy? Hello. Deepers. See if I sneak it between these trees here. Oh no, he's dead on the ground here. Oh, poor friend. I got him in the head, but it was almost like a neck shot. I just heard more take off over here. We'll leave those other ones. We got one of them. He's a, looks like a spring bird. There's probably three or four more over here. There's one or two over there, but whatever. I'm not concerned. Oh, it's my little buddy squirrel. Let's go say hi to him. Hey, little buddy squirrel. What's up, buddy? Man, you are a cute little rascal. Oh, tripping. Hey, buddy. How you doing, friend? Hi. <laughs> you are a curious little thing. Hi, guy. How are you? What's up, buddy?
Tell you what, I'll go around so I don't disturb you. chickens so I'm thinking what I'm gonna do bring bullets with me on this time and before I go up there I'm actually gonna hop into the back I just want to check how many chickens that we have there's one two three four five six right there we got three So, oh, you still shoot seven. Oh, they're pretty skittish here. Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Miss that one. <laughs> I missed that one. I can hear some more in here. They're real young birds. Oh, missed that one. <laughs> ah, there's way too much stuff to shoot through right there. Well, if he just sits there and hangs out. I can reload this. Get another shot at him. These are all kind of spring birds though. So they're all pretty small. It's pretty hard to hit. But I'm trying. I'm going after these real young spring ones. It's almost easier with the shotgun. Well it is easier with the shotgun, but then it's kind of like cheating. You just don't miss. I don't like that. I like missing once in a while. Uh, the problem is I'm shooting through all these branches and stuff too, eh? So you deflect bullets. But I got him finally. Maybe. Uh oh. He went way in there. Yeah, I think we'll call that one's gone. 
if he didn't stop, he went through this little opening right here and just took right off. But <laughs> we got one out of six. Chicken number four, we got six, six left. Well, we got the window rolled down and I just ran past a couple here. Got that one. There's one more there. There was one more. Hey, you'll keep coming this way, chicken. <sighs> yeah, we'll leave that one alone. We got one of you. Uh, two, four, and five. Halfway to our limit. Well, we're having a heck of a good day so far. Seen a uh, coyote, seen a bull elk. Uh, I've shot five chickens now, so I can only shoot five more. Then it's a strictly elk and bear hunt for the rest of the day. <laughs> the dogs here, they're getting all excited. They know when I shoot chickens, they get to have a mess of chicken hearts. So we're going to keep going up here and uh, see if we can get some more chickens. We're halfway to our limit and we still got like hours left. So this has been just a phenomenal first afternoon, evening being out here in the new hunting spot. And uh, yeah, couldn't ask for much better than this other than maybe putting a elk or bear on the ground tonight. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Right there, old Texas. Yeah, you're getting excited for chicken runs, aren't you? Yeah, all right. We are on a roll today. This one here looks like he's kind of by his lonesome, so I hope I don't miss this shot. Got Two, four, and six. Four left. Well, you guys, I actually have to kind of cut our chicken hunt short here. Uh, while I was out chicken hunting, there's a bear that came out on the road. And uh, now he's in the ditch, just right in here behind the camera. So I have to clean up my chicken's here real quick, and then I gotta deal with a black bear here yet today. So what I'll do is I'll grab these chickens. I'm just gonna put them all onto the tailgate here. 
and I will show you how I clean my chickens. So if you've been here for a while, it's it's the same old, same old. Grab them like this on the front of their breast here. I go up until you can feel where the breast comes to a point. And I don't grab the meat itself. I grab the skin that's in here. Like this little flab of skin right here. You grab that. And with one pull kind of down towards the breast, it exposes the breast. Use my thumb. I pull all that stuff out of the way. And then here you have their spine. So what I do is I take my index finger, I wrap it inside the spine. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. And I take this finger and I go in between the wishbone here. And then that way you're able to grab it and pretty well just pull and it should come right out. So here you have your nice little chicken breast and then in here you got your legs uh the heart stayed on this side for once usually the heart stays on this side and you got all the guts and everything like that in here and what i do then is you have a couple of these little straggler feathers i just pull them off it cleans it up real nice it pretty well takes longer to kind of get rid of all these feathers but then this way what you're left with is a fairly clean bird you know you have no feathers sitting there touching the meat meat's fairly clean and i do that on both sides i just kind of get rid of them throw those on the ground and then as always the dogs they always get the hearts well, for the most part, they always get one each. If you give them more than that, uh, they might puke a little. But here, I'll grab the heart out of here. That's this little delicacy right here. That is a nice little chicken heart. And you can eat these too. They're, they're excellent, like skewered and roasted. Or in a pan with garlic butter, but my dogs like them, so I give them to my dogs. And as a tradition here, Rocky Boy, he always gets the first one. There you go, my friend. Hey, you finally got your chicken hearts. A poor dog for the last, ah, uh, geez, month. Every time you mention the word chicken, he just goes absolutely nuts at the house. So now that he's got his chicken heart, he's a happy dog. We have a nice clean bird out here. We have to leave one wing on for identification. So we're gonna leave that wing on. I have one of these reusable Safeway bags. I finally uh, remembered to put one back in my truck. And it's uh, using it for groceries. I'm using it, uh, well, for groceries. <laughs> Anyways, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five more birds. To clean up so i'm gonna go ahead get these jokers all cleaned up and then uh what we'll end up doing is i have to get this bear out of the bush get him butchered up or gutted quartered and all that good stuff and then uh yeah eventually here we'll see you guys back in the kitchen and we'll cook one of these guys up you gotta take that nice my friend there you go buddy <laughs> Would you like one, Daisy? Hold on, let me let me clean up a bird for you and I'll get you one. Oh, well, good morning, everyone. It's the next day here. We're all bright-eyed and bush-tailed. And I got a uh, spruce hen here that we're gonna be cooking up. I just gotta take my knife and quickly knock the, the breast off the bone there. And then we'll be getting to cooking up this uh, steak and eggs. So I take this off the bone pretty simple I take my knife run it down like that come up to this Y turn your knife and then just fillet it out and everything and then we do the same thing to this other side alrighty so I got the old chicken here in the frying pan just a little bit of oil and I got salt pepper and garlic powder on there 
And with this, I cook it at a fairly low heat, like it's almost at a zero kind of a thing. It's just barely going. That way it kind of cooks that chicken nice and slow and it just slowly raises the heat up. If you cook it a little too high, uh, it almost like draws out like the, uh, kind of like what some people call like the bad taste, but to me it just, it tastes like steak to be honest. Some people say they taste like liver, but I think, I don't know, they're, I've cooked a lot of spruce ends up and I don't think I've ever had that. But anyways, we're gonna give this a flip. See how they're looking on the underside. Look at that. There is nothing wrong with that right there. All right, the smell is starting to get to me here. Pull off the little chicken tenders. So we can take these out for a little sampler. Alrighty, here we go, our little chicken tenders. Pull them off a little early because it's just, oh, it's smelling so good. <laughs> Tastes just like a little steak bite. Oh, man. This is going to be so good. Gotta wait for them, uh, the rest of those chicken breasts there to cook up. Then we'll toss our eggs in there. And man, we're gonna be eating here real soon. Oh, there you have it, guys. Steak and eggs. <laughs> Not exactly uh, the healthiest of breakfasts, you know, cooking it with a little bit of butter and all that good stuff, but hey, it tastes all right. Alrighty, we got our steak, we got our egg. Oh, it's hot. It's hot, but man, is it tasty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys are hesitant on eating uh, uh, spruce hens and uh, you don't even shoot them, at least try it one more time and just cook it like just treat it like steak and uh or beef or whatever it's really good steak and eggs stir fries or anything like that like a teriyaki sauce but uh yeah it's extremely good as long as you i mean i i want to say as long as you cook it right but like i've cooked it i don't know how many times and uh it's always tasted good for me i i don't know what they're doing wrong but anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did, hit that like button down in the corner, leave me a comment or two, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.